Brentley Smith. There's definitely something about him. He's a character. You can't say anything else, but he is a character for sure and a highly entertaining one at that. But uh, how cool is that? A leopard female in the Masai Mara stalking. I'm so happy for Brent because I give him trouble about it and the fact that we've been seeing more leopards. But it's a lot easier to find leopards here given that we can track and we have a very good density in this area as you can see by us looking at Hosanna. We've had leopards all week. It's been really quite fantastic. And so I'm super glad that he's managed to get one on camera and he's going to be able to spend some time with her because that's just an excellent way to spend a day and I'm sure up there I would love to know if they differ and how they move around in that particular section and if the way that they move is different to our leopards here but it looks like Hosanna is going to head back towards Little Gauri because he's had a drink and now he's heading back up onto the dam wall you can see look how he's getting into a low posture as he goes up the dam wall just checking around making sure that those impalas that shouted at him earlier have gone and just surveying the landscape watching a water thickney that was shouting at him as well just checking that as he goes over that he doesn't surprise anything on the other side so you see low body profile keep those ears down keep that head down as much as possible and then just check slightly over the top of the dam wall make sure you're not going to spook anybody so let's I'm gonna reposition ourselves quickly so that we can get a really nice view of him from where we are Just got to be careful because there's a really big ditch here that I don't. Oh, sorry, Hosanna, did I give you a fright? Sorry, boy. <laughs> he got a fright of the tree crashing down. So there was Impala's alarm calling, and I think he maybe thinks there was another leopard here, and that's maybe why he got a bit of a fright. But look how regal he looks up there at the moment. He looks just like a big male leopard should look. That is about as beautiful as it gets when it comes to looking at a leopard, that's for sure. I said, let me just reposition you slightly, although that's perfect, actually. And Nisa, you say you agree? Absolutely beautiful. Well, it is, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. If you're thinking of a leopard, that is about what you would think of in terms of a perfect pose. Well, for me, anyway, I think that's absolutely wonderful up on the dam wall watching what's going on he's just checking and making sure that he can see anything that might come and drink so he's got a perfect vantage point from up there it is really the best place for a leopard to be as far as I'm concerned anyway I wonder what he's watching he seems to be watching something behind us but like I was saying the impalas were going crazy earlier and they weren't actually looking directly at him I don't know if maybe his scent was blowing in their direction or if there was some other reason but he's been a lot more nervous since that period he's been trying a lot more to kind of watch what's going on he's been a lot more kind of hesitant in his movements so wouldn't it be amazing if Tumba arrived as well for a drink that certainly would put the proverbial cat amongst the pigeons it would be really quite wonderful if we did see little tumba in this area as well Ali you're asking about all the leopards and whether or not they have names well Ali most of them do and it's more ID kits than names so they get given names just on their character and things like that because it will get confusing after a while if you just have numbers but they do so all the leopards that we know of if it's a new leopard that's coming to this area and we don't know them then it's a little bit different and we'll battle a little bit but most of them do have names for sure Seb I want to just go and reposition you so that we don't have that branch on the left hand side because that's going to make it that much better. I just need to get around this tree on the other side because we're going to get rid of that horrible branch that's sitting in front of his f whole body and then we can hopefully get the whole body perfectly on the camera which is going to be absolutely wonderful. It's just going to have to get around a little bush here quickly. And the best that we're going to be below Hosanna, below Hosanna which is wonderful too because looks down on you it really is a sort of very different perspective to have so we're going to be here Seb just tell me when you've got a nice clear gap there how's that oh sorry Hooter we don't want to set the I didn't mean to hoot at you oh he's watching a Nyala that's what he's watching there's a Nyala on the other side 
of twin dams that's slowly but surely approaching this general vicinity and that's what he's watching but look at that isn't that beautiful his stairs absolutely magnificent from here Nancy, you say he's very pensive. He is a bit pensive, isn't he? He's watching very carefully as to what's going on and making sure that he's taking in the surroundings that are here and making sure that he's checking on all of these available animals to hunt because at the end of the day, if Inyala comes and he can hunt it, we know that he was hunting scrub hares this time yesterday, so he's going to take any opportunity he can get to get any food source. So it's a clever place for him to have positioned himself. It's definitely a far better place than being away from water at this stage. But I've found that his expressions are starting to get a lot more serious at the, these days. He no longer has that sort of cub look to him anymore. He seems to get a lot more of a serious face. And look at that. Look how his ears are focused, his eyes. He's watching that Nyala as best that he can. Go look at the ears perking up. So you find that his ears will twitch and move accordingly as to what's going on. So he's going to, sometimes it's going to turn backwards if he hears something behind him, or it will be forwards. It just depends on how he hears things. But this, how's that? To be lower than him and just have him at eye level is such a different perspective. It's not a perspective you're going to see every day. You know, often they're on termite mounds, but he's on this flat road. It's just that much better in terms of seeing him. It's always, I know a lot of photographers always try and get into positions like this where they can be a lot lower than their subject because it always looks better when you shoot up to them. It makes them look a lot more impressive. And like I say, Hosanna is looking a lot more big male leopard by sitting the way he is currently than he was a few months ago. But that is beautiful and there's a bit of colour in the sky. The only thing that's ruining where he's sitting at the moment is the telephone wire <laughs> that's behind his head which you can't see because the camera is higher than where I am. Oh, are you going to lie down now? Look at the size of the paws. How cool is this? <laughs> This is as good as it gets in terms of a leopard sighting, that's for sure. We're being absolutely spoilt by Hosanna. He's posing in the most perfect place for us. He's going to probably have a nap now, but there's so much happening around Twin Dams and so many different animals that have come down to drink, and I'm sure more will come, that it will wake him up at some point. Joe, you say even though he's growing up, he will always be our little Hosanna. Well, exactly. He's might start looking like a big male but he definitely still is our little Hosanna and will always be that way and it's it's just nice to see that he is growing up and that he's been so successful and you can see there's the colors I was talking about is that not a beautiful view of a leopard under those pinks and blues and oranges a little bit of wispy cloud there as well really is very very pretty indeed spoilt is what we are to be able to sit in Africa and listen to the hardy dars fly over and have a leopard lying five meters from us is just a very special way to spend an afternoon, that's for sure. But he's not nearly as active as what the leopard in the Mara is at this stage. It seems the Mara le animals tend to hunt a lot more during the day than what ours do. Ours tend to be a lot more nocturnal kind of outside or over past sunset and, and before sunrise whereas the cats that side seem to hunt most afternoons it's quite an interesting difference between here and there now we're going to sit with Hosanna as he just sits underneath the beautiful sky of southern Africa and he has his little nap because I'm sure it won't be long lived and so while we do that let's go back to Jamie and her hunting serval. <laughs> 